Arts on the grid. This is Back to the Future. This is the OK Junior class. There is no clutch, there is no battery, there is no starter motor. They fire into life with the aid of the decompression valve onto the circuit. And we get ready to go racing for the first final of the 2016 European Championships for the OK Junior class. Settle back and enjoy this one wherever you are watching us all around the world live on CIKFIA.TV. There will be another formation lap as we go through the grid. Noah Watt on pole alongside Keneally, Blomquist and Pesalon, Shvetsov Colette, Milesi Muth, and the two Russians, Pavel Bolentsev and Simonov on the fifth row. Muitsadin, who we just saw, alongside Kieran Gilles from England. He's a row ahead of Teddy Wilson, who starts alongside Dennis Hauger, the Norwegian in the CRG. Grid number 26, have a look at that. Giuseppe Fusco did not set a time in qualifying, had to come from grid 84 throughout the heats. He's got through into the final in the LKE-powered Lenzo car. Starts on the 13th row. Look for the Italian to come charging through. Number 258. The very last row of the grid, the very last spot, is the Czech driver Petra Patacek in the Formula K cart. Powered by the Perilla, finished 17th in pre-final two and just scraped through to race this afternoon. So Finn Keneally from England, eager to get on with things. But the driver with the pink helmet, Noah Watt, will set the pace in the Baby Race turning car. Of course, Baby Race also with Alessio Lorandi racing in the FIA Formula 3 round at pole, not too far away over the border in France. And when I say not too far away, maybe a thousand odd kilometres, which is, well, in Australian terms, it's not that far. We're only a few moments away from the start. The breeze has not let up. It's turned into strong wind gusts of up to 50 k's an hour. It's been relentless here in the windswept plains of Spain. 15 laps for the OK Junior Class. Noah Watt from Denmark alongside Finlay Keneally from Great Britain on the front row of the grid. Watt will dictate the pace. He's on pole. He leads them up to the line. Four red lights. Go out and we are racing. Keneally got a good start, but I suspect Blomquist, yes, from grid number three, is going to go into second spot. Noah Watt leads down into turn number two, the opening lap of the first final here this afternoon. Noah Watt leads up through turn five and six. He's got the driver from Ward Racing, Isaac Blomquist, right on his rear bumper. One cart out in the dust. Might have been the Russian, Pavel Bolentsev. In fact, Polensev has not even taken the start and is classified way, way down the field. Watt with two cart lengths now over Blomquist. The Birol Art of Kyle Collette did not make a good start, but he's made one position back. He's now into fifth place, getting past the second of the RFM drivers, which it looked as though was Timothy Pesalon. There's Fetzoff for SMP Racing in fourth spot, the blue race suit. They come round the final corner for the first of 15 times here this afternoon. What winds up that cart, head down behind the steering wheel into turn one, flat strap. Across the line, it's Moitza Din and Simonov fighting one ahead, Kieran Jewis. Dennis Hauger, the Norwegian, has not made a good start. He's back into 12th. One ahead of the Brit, Teddy Wilson, Dmitry Bogdanov and Ulisi Dupau from Belgium rounds out the top 15. Noah Watt leads from Blomquist who's being pressured now from Finn Keneally. Ivan Shvetsov still there in fourth. Kyle Collette from Pace Salon. The Frenchman has indeed dropped back to sixth from grid four. Up the inside goes Keneally. Blomquist goes very, very deep and does not let him through. Up through the furthest part of this 1.7 kilometer circuit. Blomquist. Pesalon, Shvetsov, Kyle Collette. Watch for the Brazilian to come charging through. Back in sixth spot. Milesi, Esteban Muff, the German. Muitzadin is up into the top ten, running in ninth, in fact, as Simonov rounds out the first ten, second time round. Muitzadin in the DR cart. Down the inside of Esteban Muth. I think he's made the move stick. No, the German closed him off. There they go through. Look at the battle just behind them. 
There is the Ricardo cart of Kieran Jewis, Dennis Halgar, Ulysses De Powell, and Nicholas Cruton, the German for Ricky Flynn Motorsport, now on the charge from grid number 20 up into 14th. Noah Watt, though, he's got a lead of half a second, 0.56 over Isaac Blomquist. 30s, Keneally. No, 30s, Kyle Collette. The Brazilian with a brilliant move into turn number seven has gone through. Up through the furthest section of the circuit. That was nicely done by Kyle Collette. He's in position number three. Why is that significant? He finished the World Championships in position number three. He qualified third. He even finished the Rotax Max Grand Finals in Portugal last year in position number three. He runs across the line in third now. He has to desperately improve two positions. The driver from Sao Paulo, there he is. Cut 201, the always immaculately turned out Bureau Art Machine. He's under pressure though from Finn Keneally in the bright green helmet. The British driver for the British team. What goes through? His gap is now out to 0.6 of a second over Isaac Blomquist. Kyle Collette, this is down through turn six and turn seven. As our race director, Mr. Nigel Edwards, risks his life by standing within about three inches of that ripple strip. But in relative safety though, White continues to lead. His father, Jason, we mentioned him before. He's here in the grandstand watching his boy do a superb job. He had a couple of heat wins yesterday and he's driving away from the field. The, lap, the gap last time around was 0.67 of a second. Now it's out to 1.07. Noah Watt has also just done the fastest lap of the race. 1 minute 2.524. An average speed around this frighteningly fast Zwera circuit of 95 k's an hour. Top speed for these junior drivers, 128. As they go flat out through turn number one, the Vega tyres at grip for their life as they don't lift off the throttle. And Noah Watt driving away from the rest of the field. There's Colette. The battle for second spot is the Swede for the Swedish Ward Racing Team. Colette for Birol Art and Finn Keneally for Ricky Flynn Motorsports. Ivan Shvetsov, the Russian, is just a spot further back. Charles Milesi for the Tony Kart Racing Team is in six as Colette down the inside. Colette up into second spot over Blomquist. Blomquist did his best to try and hold off the Brazilian, but he couldn't quite do so. Kyle Colette. Well, he's had enough of running in third, as we mentioned. It's up into second. Oh, no, we spoke too soon because Kyle Collette is not only back to third, he's back to fourth. Keneally has gone through. Blomquist has gone through. And now he has to hold off the challenge of Ivan Shvetsov. Kyle Collette, for a brief moment, was in position number two. Now he's back to fourth. He's not even on the podium. Noah Watt says, thank you very much. How good is this? He's driving away with this one. We've reached one third race distance. He's got 1.3 seconds over the rest of the field. Noah Watt just flashes by Isaac Blomquist, that Tony Kart from Ward Racing in Sweden, working nicely, lifting the inside rear Vega tyre on this super quick circuit. This is the final corner as they wind it up. Colette's got a good run. Watch him in fourth. Will he take back third place? He's in the slipstream. On the rev limiter at 15,000 RPM. Watching down into turn number two. Will he make a move? He thought about it. Had the rears locked up. Remember, there are no front brakes on these carts. An incident further but down in the field involving the Finnish driver, William Alatalo. So what continues to lead the gap is 2.3 seconds for this battle for the podium. Blomquist. For Ward Racing, the team from Sweden, home circuit, Christian Stad, which will host the KZ World Championships on September 4 this year. Only the fourth time the CIK World Championships have ever been held in the Scandinavian nation. And that's going to be absolutely sensational. A long way to go before that one. 
including the Euro champs. This is the first round. Noah Watt, look, he's driving away from this one. The gap is out to 2.5 seconds for this from this battle for second. Here's Blanquist, Colette. Locks up the rears under brakes. This is good to see. It's just like the good old days of 100cc as Colette slides it up into second spot. This time, let's see if the Brazilian can hold on. He drives up the left side of the track. They'll have to go around the long way. He holds it through. Blomquist. Keneally. Ivan Shvetsov from Russia is in fifth spot. Also with the Ward Racing Team. Shvetsov in the blue race suit. You can see the yellow flag is still being held out. As Colette now has got a little bit of a gap. This is exactly half race distance. He had the front left in the air as he put his right foot flat to the board, so to speak, onto the straight. He's got good horsepower, does Colette. There's Watt, forget about it. He's on his way to victory if he can hold on. Colette has got a gap of 0.3 of a second over Blomquist. Here comes Finn Keneally in the bright green helmet. The driver from England for Ricky Flynn Motorsport takes a tighter line than Blomquist. Ivan Shvetsov still watches on Keneally up the inside. Good move on Blomquist. Blomquist back to four and provisionally off the podium. Can he respond? Defensive. Shvetsov in fifth is going to have a good run here. Let's see if Shvetsov can finally make a move. He's watched this battle. Colette is skipping away. Blomquist up the inside into turn number six. Here comes Shvetsov for the first time. He's going to take the both of them round the outside. Not quite. Blomquist takes it back. Well, for about five metres, the Russian was on the podium for SMP Racing. There he is in the blue race suit. He went from fifth to fourth to third around the outside of turn number eight. He's back to fifth. Blomquist holds third. Keneally, the Englishman, is sandwiched in fourth in this battle. Colette has pulled out 1.3 seconds from this battle on that last lap alone. Out front, Noah Watt. Fastest lap, 1 minute, 1.951. He is the only driver who's gone under 1 minute 2 as Keneally up the inside and drags the Russian along with him for the ride. Blomquist back to fifth. Shvetsov now in fourth. Colette skipping away to second place. Shvetsov now can the Russian climb up onto the podium. Five and a half laps remaining in this first final for the 2015 2016 European Championships. There's Colette in the Birrell Art. Well, the question is, can he now catch Noah Watt out front? Watt has still done the fastest lap of the race, a 101.951, as we mentioned. Kyle Colette, a one minute two dead. There's Keneally, the Englishman. He's in third. Kyle Colette. Well, the gap, let's have a look. It was three seconds. It remains as such to Noah Watt. It would take a disaster for the Dane not to win this one. There's Colette. There's Keneally. Shvetsov. Blomquist. He was in second for much of the early part of this race. Now he's back to fifth. He's not even on the podium. There's Colette. Keneally. Shvetsov. Blomquist. Here comes Timothy Paisel on the Frenchman in sixth spot. Then his countryman, Charles Milesi. Simonov. Jewis and Esteban Muth. What happened to the German? He's back to tenth. One ahead of Dennis Halger, the Norwegian. For the CRG team, he's back in 11th. They go through turn six without positions changing. Noah, what, what a faultless drive this has been for the first two-thirds of this race. The Dane surely on his way to victory. Keneally, Shvetsov, Blomquist in fifth. Blomquist is in the slipstream. He pulls out. Can Blomquist take the Russian? No. Good horsepower. The two Ward Racing teammates, in fact. Let's not forget that. This time, down the inside into turn number two. Isaac Blomquist back into fourth spot. Timothy Pesalon and Charles Malaysi, the two Frenchmen, that's them. They're at the tail of this battle. They're going to be involved before too long. Then it's Simonov in the 243 car. He's sitting back there in eighth ahead of Muth and Kieran Jewis. Dennis Hauger still 11th. Well, a frantic final it's been. 
While this has been going on, we've lost the Malaysian driver, Muid Sadin, but let's get back to the front because Blomquist has muscled his way back through on Keneally. Shvetsov says, I'll have a piece of that as well. Three laps remaining after they complete this one. Oh, Blomquist looks to collect points. Says, let's not fight. The podium's getting away. I don't think the Russian's going to care less. Even though they are Ward Racing teammates, there's Kieran Jewis fighting with Dennis Halga, Esteban Muth. That's for the top 10. Bogdanov, Alessandro Giardelli goes through in the Lario Motorsport cart. There's Petele, La Leonardo Marcellia also, and Lucas Summerland. Way down in 26th position. He's from Denmark, but his countryman is on screen now. Noah Watt, this has been a brilliant drive. Well, as he picked up the flag for Denmark, or what? A country not with the greatest population, but a great motorsport heritage. Of course, we had Nicholas Nielsen on the podium of the World Championships last year. But we have to go way back to 1990 to Jan Magnussen to find the last time that a Dane won the World Karting Championship. That was at Yezelo. Jan did it in a CRG kart in the Formula K class. The class that spectacularly ran the six inch tires. It's been a whole generation. His boys now racing for the Renault F1 team just a few hundred kilometers away. Noah Watt now with the baby race team. That's been a change for him as well for 2016. Over the ripple strip. Just lifts the inside up rear nicely through turn at number seven. He will come around at this time to take the last lap board. If I'm not mistaken, the gap is 3.4 seconds. Kyle Collette is doing a good job in second in the Birrell Art. But it's going to take a failure for Noah Watt not to win this one. He comes around onto the straight to take the last lap board. Last lap mightn't sound like much, but here at Zwera, it is 1.7 kilometres. The longest, fastest track in CIK international regulations. Dennis Hauger now inside the top 10, the Norwegian. But nothing, bar a catastrophe, is going to stop Noah Watt, son of Formula 3000 and DTM great Jason Watt, from taking victory here this afternoon, Noah, a star in his own right. Does he look behind him? No, he knows he's got this in the bag. Gently down, under brakes into turn number six. The bright pink helmet of the boy from Copenhagen rounds the final few corners. This has been a brilliant display for the baby race team managed by the former European champion Roberto Toninelli here this weekend to watch his boy take victory. He winds it up onto the start-finish straight. Noah Watt from Denmark wins the opening race of the European Championships right here in Spain. A great drive by Kyle Collette, the Brazilian, takes second place. And Isaac Blomquist from Sweden does indeed take the final step of the podium here in Spain. Finn Keneally just off the podium. Bad luck for the Englishman. He was fourth ahead of Timothy Pacealon. Wow, the Frenchman came home to finish fifth, getting the better of Shvetsov, Milesi, Simonev, Esteban Muth, and Dennis Halgar, the Norwegian. His first year in juniors rounds out the top ten, but take nothing away from the boy from Copenhagen. Noah Watt, a faultless drive from pole position, has taken the win. The first round of the OK Junior European Championships for 2016. He's done it in the sunshine here in Spain for his baby race team based in Brescia, Northern Italy. He will be absolutely delighted. We'll see him on the podium in just a moment. What has taken victory? What a win for Noah Watt. Caio Collette from Brazil, second, and Isaac Blomquist, third for Sweden. Keneally, Pesalon, Shvetsov, Milesi, Simonev, so two Russians inside the top 10. Good drive by Esteban Muth and Dennis Hauger, finishing in 10th spot.
So we will see these drivers on the podium in just a moment. I expect that Noah Watt will have a huge smile on his face. And why wouldn't he? He absolutely deserves it. Brilliant drive all weekend. Started the final on pole. He had a couple of heat wings yesterday.